Hello Zaniacs, I am Lainey. I am Marshall. Welcome back to our channel and today we are going to talk about a book we have both read called In an Absent Dream. There we go. <laughs> this book is by Seanan McGuire. It is the fourth book mm -hmm. in the Wayward Children series. So this one kind of takes you back to another character that we saw in the first book uh, and this is Lundy. Lundy was one of the professors at the Home for Wayward Children except she was a child question mark for those of you who didn't go through the other books each time a child doesn't really belong in our world they have a high chance of finding a doorway to another universe that does accept them mm -hmm. uh, and lundy's universe is called the goblin market the goblin market is kind of interesting in that everything there is about equal trade and it's not just an absolute equal value it's the value of what you're giving to that person versus the value of what you are getting from them to you. So, for example, you can trade a used pencil for many meat pies. Many meat pies. Because the pencil is worth a whole lot to the guy who makes the pies. So, there's also a lot of enforcement of these rules that is very magical in nature. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, uh, if you don't follow the laws of equivalent exchange here, you slowly become bird. There's more to it, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, the other real interesting thing about about what happens in this book is how much they don't show you, but yet you mm -hmm. totally understand what is happening. So, for example, uh, in this particular book, she ends up going a few times to the world it's very different in like some of the other worlds you go once and that's all you can do for her she's able to go multiple times up to a certain point the first time she goes something happens but it's very traumatic for her and her friend that she meets there however you don't necessarily see the action as it plays out you find out about it from her referring to it when she comes back in her inner monologue or her referring to it to other people when she is back in the goblin market and i and this happens a couple times where something happens where it happens like off screen and you're like wow it and they're really kind of important things to happen yeah but that doesn't diminish the importance of it it's really such an interesting way of writing that it kind of took my breath away in a way. I've had other stories that I've read where they'll do this sort of thing where they'll be like, this is the story I wanted to tell you. And they refer to these other side stories that they never actually write. And I, I go, those other side stories sound more interesting than what you're writing right now. This was the opposite. I was far more interested in this very human, personal story than I was about the stories of the quests. Yeah. And it just gave Lundy more depth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I felt also, too, that, like, what Lundy was going through for me, especially when she was in the Goblin Market and trying to figure out what fair value really was, I was right there with her. It was... I connected to her in a way I really didn't expect. She became one of my favorite characters in this series. Uh, everybody likes Jack and Jill, and that's that's cool. I like Jack and Jill too, but for some reason, Lundy to me really struck a chord, and I really liked her a lot. It probably was, you know, my favorite story so far, although it wasn't my favorite book in the series so far. It's my favorite story. It's too bad Lundy's dead. First book, right there. That's not really that much of a spoiler. She did. So, I guess that's it. We're never going to see her again. Bye-bye. Maybe. But as we know, as we have been finding out, even if you're dead, you're not really dead. Magic, fantasy worlds have mm -hmm. a weird way of doing things with time. Mm -hmm. So even though this was my second favorite book in the series, I did give it five stars. Me too. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was just, it was fantastically written. We are reading uh, Come Tumbling Down next month. 
I have already read it and I can't wait to read it again because now I'm like now she gets it so full of information <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't I really can't wait and I think you're gonna actually really like this book a lot yeah. um, if I liked it this much before reading the other ones I think knowing where the characters come from now are actually going to be a lot a lot more interesting um, it is actually come tumbling down is the first book where we repeat see a world that we have seen already Okay. So that'll be an interesting thing already, too. So thank you so much for watching our review. Hope you stick with us for the rest of the books, especially because she's coming out with a new one this year. Mm -hmm. Or next year. Maybe it's next year. I don't know. But until next time, stay safe. Bye-bye.